it's a pleasure to talk to you about the third installment. I was so enthused by it. It oh, looks so real. It feels so much. Thank uh, what's, you. What was the main challenge for you to, you know, bring it to that extent of reality and interaction? Well, you know, audience? I mean, there there are multiple ways that we try to achieve that thing, and and one of them is, and we started it uh, on dawn. We shot in more real physical locations mm -hmm. to try and push the reality because the more that there can be uh, a real environment around the CG the more that the illusion starts to look complete and so in this one I wanted to push us to go into the realm of the mythic and to me to make it kind of a, a realistic but mythic fairy tale they would move mm -hmm. out of the Muir Woods and into the the snowy Sierras and that almost like a fairy tale that meant that we would shoot in the snow. So we shot in real locations. It was really, Andy Serkis was really out there. People yeah. sometimes, I think, think that like, you know, the, the ape actors are not on the set, and they're not, but they're right there. And they're, you know, Andy's and the other performers are in their mocap suits, and it's freezing. And they're out there, and the, in the, it's snowing like crazy. That was hard. That was really challenging. But the, the other part that was really more challenging than just the physical challenge is that, the actors give these really tremendous performances. Incredible. Yeah, and then we edit it together, and the process, once we edit it together, is to give over the shots and work with Weta to make sure that we are getting that emotionality that you feel from those actors, that you're feeling what Andy does, what Steve Zahn does, what Karen, who plays Maurice, does, what Terry Notary. You've got to compare the performances mm -hmm. side by side so that you're looking at Caesar, looking at Andy, and saying, you know, Andy looks not only angry, but he's also sad. How do we draw that out? And it's this conversation with the animators at Weta who are brilliant. And they've done this now for, on these films, they've done it for about eight years. And so it is, it's a painstaking process that takes well over a year to translate those performances. Yeah, and it was quite extraordinary that the emotional core of all the characters, it's great that they were on set because you really feel it in them. So it, it oh, doesn't sure. matter how well they drew, if those eyes weren't there, if no. that expression wasn't there, it yeah. wouldn't work. That's everything. I yeah. mean, the whole thing, these are performance-based movies. You know, it's, I have to say, for a movie that's a CG-based mm. movie, what's so thrilling about this kind of CG is that it's performance capture, which means yeah. that the shooting of it is not that different from like an independent movie. I mean, it's all about the relationship between the actors. There's so many themes to the whole saga of what Planet of the Apes is, but what resonated the most in this one, you know, where it's culminating into everyone fighting for their own? Well, for me, um, you know, uh, I think that the what's at stake in a war film um, is, 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 is really the story is really about how war can drive you to lose empathy mm. and I think you know toward when people talk about the story having resonance today I think that the question of empathy and being able to maintain empathy is one of our greatest challenges and that it's when you're not able to maintain empathy that you can objectify y those who are different from you and look at them as if their lives don't matter as much as if you could destroy them and um, that's actually Caesar's journey is for a character who, the bedrock of Caesar, is that he is an outsider and he's in a way part human and part ape. And so he has empathy for both. In this story, the extremes of war start to crack that away so that he, he's in danger of losing his empathy for humanity. And that's, that's his greatest challenge. So in doing a war film, it's about how can you maintain that part of you that can see that we are all alike. And, and that's, that's really, I think, you know, one of the, one of the painful things about war is this mm -hmm. idea that um, you lose that sense. And I feel like this is the main achievement of this film because it is a big blockbuster movie with mm. a lot of visual effects, but the emotional complexities of the characters are so obvious and so relatable to the audience oh, that great. I think, for me, that was your biggest challenge. Yeah, well, no, that was, well, <laughs> yeah. that was, a, that was, a, that was the, the ambition. And, yeah, and that, yeah. I, that means a lot to me that that's what comes through because that's what we were trying to do. I feel like that's what's special about this franchise is that so many other franchises, you know, summer movies, there there's a very narrow band of what entertainment is yeah. in the summer. And it can and get lost in the wonderful popcorn for element. For sure, yeah. yeah. I mean, and it's nothing about that. It's just that that fits a very narrow band. And this one sneaks under the radar because, you know, a lot of the movies that come out over the summer, they're about a certain kind of spectacle. So like amazing action, some mm -hmm. kind of effects that you haven't seen. In this, the effects and the spectacle relate directly to emotion. They have to do with 
us holding a mirror up to ourselves by looking into the faces of apes and recognizing ourselves in them and looking at our own nature and the struggle within all of us. And so it is a really special gift to work in this franchise.